Good morning, lovely Simmer Simsy Claire here, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing part two of my Dresden Chateau. So this is going to be strictly the interior of the house. If you missed me building the out exterior, then I will link it somewhere in this video and most likely at the end of the video as well. So you guys can go ahead and watch it. You don't really have to watch it in order. Like they don't really connect besides the fact that one is the interior of the house and one is the exterior of the house. Um, they just kind of show you both aspects of the build. And I wanted to let you guys know that I will not be doing the full voiceover for this video. It is not because it is super long. Um, the last like four minutes of this is actually just screenshots. So I won't be offended if you skip out of those. But I am actually recording this on the floor of my bedroom. So some of you might know that I am currently in the process of picking out a new computer and a new setup and getting everything all switched over. And a part of that process was actually getting some new stuff for my bedroom bedroom which is where I usually record and in order to fit all of that new stuff in I had to move my desk out of my bedroom and I haven't I don't have anywhere to set it up yet so my desk is like not put together anymore and so it's either sit in my kitchen or my dining room table and risk people walking by and you being able to hear them or sit on the floor of my bedroom so right now I have my little my little laptop sitting right in front of me, my microphone sitting on my leg so it can reach my face, and I'm kind of just like sprawled out on the floor of my bedroom, which is where I have been doing all of my editing work for probably like the past week, so do not kill me for not doing the entire voiceover for this video, but I wanted to give you guys a brief like gist of the family that I thought would be living in here, so right now we're working on the main guest bathroom, and I'm sure you guys can tell that this is a very very like affluent type of house and my idea was that this new this couple had been building their house so it was someone from old money i think the husband the husband was from old money and the wife was from new money and so they kind of like they were both super rich but they made their wealth in different ways and I think that they had been in the process of building themselves a home for them and their family. They're a rather large family. And they, the wife was like really into it. She wanted to make her own plans. She wanted to decorate. She wanted, she had all these like brilliant ideas. And then unfortunately the husband's parents died and he was gifted their chateau. And so instead of putting all the money into a new house, he told his wife that she would just have to put all of the money into fixing up the chateau. So this is kind of the chateau. The chateau is in like the state of half being still what his parents had had and half being what she had wanted. So the living areas and like the dining room and all that are very traditional with like a pop of contemporary I would say I mean there's a new they added a new bar area so that way she could host her lavish parties and they added a couple of you know music stereos and stuff and they definitely redid the kitchen I think it still has all of its you know traditional countertops and everything but they extended it they made it more family like made it big enough for their large family because this ha house does have five bedrooms and four bathroom five bed yeah five bedrooms five bathrooms and that does not include the butler suite so there is a butler suite you will not actually see me decorated in this video because i had to cut out some things so that the video wasn't super super long but there is a butler suite and it has its own ensuite so i did think that they would have a butler now unfortunately i i don't no, I talked about this in my last video. I do not know if butlers count as your household. If they do, then you have to get rid of one of the bedrooms because, or play with like a one parent household because there isn't, there's too many bedrooms for the amount of sims that you can actually have in your family in the game. So I did just want to warn you guys about that one. But speaking of the bedrooms, so like I said, there is five of them, and I did think that it was a ma a grand bathroom or a grand bedroom, my bad, and then four kids' bedrooms ish. I did think that they had two teenagers and one child sim and one toddler sim, so that is how I decorated the bedrooms. And the parents' bedroom, starting there, the parents' bedroom is very, very fancy. It has a lot of vintage glamour items and some realm of magic items. I used the realm of magic bed with the canopy and it's 
very white and black and there's also some purples and it also takes up the entire right wing of the house so it is huge it is the bedroom and then it's an open floor plan kind of into the grand bathroom and then there is two full-on walk-in like sit down have a drink have a cocktail closets that the sims can use and I mean everything's fully functional now obviously the closet doesn't function as a walk-in closet it's just you you they use their dresser like they usually do but the whole all of that whole right wing is functional and I have to say I think it's rather gorgeous the grand bathroom isn't my personal favorite I kind of did this thing I was trying to play around with platforms again and I did this like walk in sh like double headed shower and I think it looks really nice but I definitely think in the future I will be able to expand on it and have like a different take on it and be able to make it work a little bit better and then the four kids rooms are all upstairs I thought that the upstairs was definitely more this is the kids area no one else really goes up here because all of the extra rooms and upstairs are kids bedroom or kids rooms as well all of the extra rooms down here are more like adult entertainment so they have the game room which has pool foosball cards like stuff like that they have the movie room so like the the entertainment room and then there is like a small extra family room that i thought they maybe did like family game nights or family movie nights in and stuff like that but upstairs is the four children's bedrooms the gym the students retreat and the playroom so like I said, I thought that they had a toddler and a child, and the toddler and the child have two rooms that are kind of next to each other, and then they share their own bathroom, and the toddler has kind of like a very animally themed room. It's green and brown and taupe and colors like that, and then the, and I don't think, so the toddler's kind of young, so I don't really think they have that much of a personality yet, but I thought that the child sim was very into void critters and robotics and electronics so i gave them the void critter uh game thing i gave them some void critter wall decals their room is all like purples and blues and blacks and then in the playroom or the the toy room i set them up their own nice little desk area with the same kind of color scheme so that way they had somewhere that they could work on their stuff because i definitely thought that they would be kind of a brainiac definitely into being a, like creative but working with their hands so like maybe when they grow up they would be in like the robotics career or something and then the two teenagers have their students retreat area which is basically their own personal office and it has one computer that has it has two computers and they're the only two computers in the build and it has one desk that is very bright and colorful and then one that is a little bit more muted because my idea for the teenagers was that one of them was very into this world they wanted to be like in the fashion career they wanted to like live the high life for the rest of their lives and their maybe their mother was a fashion designer because like i said i thought the mother came from new money so i'm thinking that the mom is a fashion designer and the daughter wants to kind of follow in her footsteps so she's very much into fashion and being in, in with the trends and stuff so her bedroom you can kind of tell that with and then the other teenager i thought was really into sports so i gave them the little fighting thing from strangerville and then they also are right next door to the gym so obviously the indoor gym so obviously they will use that as well and then i decorated their room in grays and blues and reds and yeah i think that it just i really tried to think about the personalities of these people except for the adults i never really think about the adults and the dad i didn't even know if he would have a job because he's from old money and you know traditionally in movies and stuff old money never really runs out so i was like i don't really know if he would even have a job but there is a whole library and an office in this build as well so we're about to start building the library actually but so he might have like a business career or something just so he could use the library or maybe he's really into the arts and he like donates to a lot of museums and libraries and stuff like that because as you can see i cut it out of the video but you saw that little guitar picture up there i definitely thought with the artwork in this house that they had a lot of you know museum style pieces because that was what his parents collected maybe his parents were patrons of the arts so 
I thought that they had a lot of these fancy, beautiful, like old traditional artworks around. And I did get those artworks off the gallery. I will have the people who I got them from in the description down below. I know that one of them was AJ2000, I think is the number. And then the other one I believe is pronounced Inazium, but I will have it spelled down below. So that way you guys can go ahead and check out the artwork as well. And yeah, I hope you all enjoy this build. I had a lot of fun building it. I will say though, the build is really laggy. So I'm sure you guys can kind of tell with the way my camera is moving. And we all know that the more you place on a lot in The Sims 4, if your computer can't handle it, it can get really laggy. And unfortunately, this lot did reach that point on my computer. I was having a lot of issues on it the moment I started to get upstairs and kind of try and decorate the kids rooms and everything so I do apologize about that and you might have some issues with that when you download the lot from the gallery. I would recommend deleting the mirrors. I have quite a lot of mirrors and I've heard some of the game changers like Deligracy and Simlissy mention that mirrors really mess with the the whole lagging part of the game so that would be my best recommendation but besides that I hope you all enjoyed this video and this little series be sure to check out the first half of the video I will like I said I will have it linked somewhere and yeah I hope you all enjoyed this if you did please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next time bye